I know a lot of you guys are struggling with Blender rendering. So when doing rendering, it takes a lot of time rendering your project. But I will show you the three ways I render my project and it's very much faster. So in this case, let's do a sample rendering first to see how long this will take us. So I'll just go ahead and render this out. So as you can see that when you're doing rendering, it calculates some maps, the noise, everything, calculates everything. Okay, now this is done rendering. I can see that this render time of this is 3 minutes 41 seconds. And this is too much for this type of scene. Imagine rendering this, the whole scene for 390 frames. You can see how long that will take to render. So now we need to find something else to do. Make sure this render is a lot more faster. So first thing I would suggest is that you reduce the resolution. When you look at the resolution, this right here, you can see that the resolution is full HD. But when doing VFX especially, you can reduce the resolution to HD and you can scale it up in the composite. And you won't even know that it's scaled, being scaled up. It will just look like normal. That's, that's the one advantage for us. So what we do now is to decrease it to HD. Okay, this is the HD format right now. So when we hit zero, sorry. 720 rider okay now let's hit render again to see what we get from this so render okay now this is done rendering you can see that this render time for this is 1 minute 39 seconds compared to 3 minutes 41 seconds of the first resolution we rendered I can see that it's very seamless. You can't even tell that this is being scaled down. And you can scale it up back in a composite. And it's very, very easy to do. So this is a really cool tip I will share to all of you that it's very, very easy to do something like this and very, very useful. So you can reduce your render time with doing this. And they won't even know when you do the composite. Okay, so for this now, we have three minute, one minute, that's a nice second for this scene, which is really, really good. Okay, so we can still do a lot more to reduce this render time. And the next thing I will share to you now is it's called persistence data. So this persistence data works with when you render a scene, it really catch the scene first, calculate some stuff like mapping, something like that before it starts rendering. But you can do something like when you start rendering for, for the first frame, you will calculate all those things and it will catch it into memory when doing the next thing. So we don't have to recalculate all the that data again so let's go ahead and render settings like so come down to performances we'll scroll down now you can see in final render I just click on persistence image just click on that so now when we just hit render for the first time this render like so it will calculate all this mapping updating lights importing data everything it will calculate it but the next thing is to calculate it again so what I'll show you now let's cancel this escape to cancel that so when you just click on re-render you see that it's not calculating all those things anymore and it starts rendering right away and this is really really cool so let's leave this a bit to see how quick it will okay now this is done so you can see that we have the render time of 1 minute 35 seconds compared to the second we did which is 1 minute 39 seconds and it doesn't really come down the render time with this but when doing a large scene rendering scene you see that it's very very helpful whenever you are doing rendering make sure you turn on this persistent data so it will reduce your render time because this thing is not too heavy that's why it doesn't reduce it a lot so the next thing i will show you let me just put this to slot two for now so the next thing i will show you is this data adapter so when you come here you should just click on adapter sample this will reduce your render time so when you hit zero and go back let's turn on the adapter sampling so when you just click on that something and you just hit render so let's see what will happen here so what we just what this adapter something does is doesn't calculate all those pixels you just only calculate where you have image to render in the scene you know when red blender is rendering it render all pixels but in this case it won't render all pixels it only render where there's image in your scene so this really really helpful and you see that this will reduce the 
data and it will not be so long to render for this so this will reduce the render time so let's wait and see how this will click rendering okay for the final thing you can see that this render time is one minute seven seconds and which is really really cool you can see that we get from three minutes 41 seconds down to one minute seven seconds which is really great so for this make sure you turn on this adaptive sampling so it will help your render time very very helpful so you can see that this is really, really cool tips and if you like this make sure you subscribe like share and make don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching and this is what i have for you today and i will see you guys in my next video